The Geelong refinery produces the fuel that helps millions of Australians reach their destination every day. As the world transitions towards a lower carbon energy future, Viva Energy plans to develop its refinery site into an energy hub, offering new and alternative energy sources. Many industries rely on heavy vehicles, from public transport to freight delivery and waste management. These are vehicles the economy relies on every day. The challenge is, they can't easily be decarbonised. However, energy from renewable sources has created the opportunity to generate green hydrogen and the possibility of zero emission heavy vehicles. Unlike vehicles that use conventional fuels, hydrogen powered fuel cell electric vehicles produce zero emissions. Viva Energy is developing Australia's first heavy vehicle focused commercial green hydrogen refuelling station. The new energy service station, or NESS, is part of the Geelong Energy Hub. The NESS will provide dispensers for hydrogen as well as a recharging station for electric vehicles. A number of heavy vehicle operators are partnering with Fever Energy on the NESS project, developing an initial fleet of 15 hydrogen powered heavy vehicles. The project will make Geelong a leader in the adoption of a diverse range of hydrogen transport. Toll hydrogen powered trucks will refuel at the NESS after delivering to service stations around Geelong and southwestern Victoria. CDC will transport people around Geelong City in green hydrogen powered buses. It's a carbon neutral and cleaner way to get around. Local residents will have their rubbish collected by much quieter, green, hydrogen powered, clean away waste management vehicles. Barwon Water will provide the recycled water from the Northern Water Plant to the electrolyzer to generate green hydrogen. And its hydrogen powered truck will collect organic waste for recycling. Viva Energy hopes the NESS will be the catalyst for a network of hydrogen refuelling stations. It's an exciting, cleaner future for Geelong and potentially for all Australians. This project received funding from the Australian Renewable Energy Agency, ARENA, as part of ARENA's Advancing Renewables program and the Victorian Government has also contributed via the Renewable Hydrogen Commercialisation Pathways Fund.